happens out, I figure out how to cram 30 kilowatt hours worth of smart Tesla module inside the Samba's floor. How exciting is that? Look at that, two, two motor vehicles right next to each other here. It's Porsche 911. Go, go. You're clear. Is this another double? Another twin motor? It is. Holy crap. It's like Ice Cube. We messed around and got a triple double. Yeah. Oh, that one's bad. Yeah, I think he's gonna put it in there. Just uh, doing some car shuffling this morning at EV West. The rain is not helping today. Ooh, that can sound good. That's like sticker. <laughs> Why is this one going on the lift today? I want to know if there's an award uh, for breaking the most transmissions. I know we cheat because we use electric motors, but man, this last year, we broke an awful lot of transmissions. So gears don't like, electric motors don't like gears. <laughs> uh, they just, let's just say they love them to death. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody knows where I live. Yeah. Double motors totally fit perfectly in a bus bay. Actually, my uh, engine bay, it's actually bigger than this guy because this is a double cap, so it doesn't have the same room to put the batteries back here. The gas tank is not right behind the engine here like it's on most regular, on regular buses. later the transmission's on its way to be once again rebuilt because these two motors here have too much torque and I think Bream has a heavy foot so there we go for a while now I've been wanting to get rid of the cal batteries right the the, the lithium iron phosphate batteries from here. So they're just too heavy and they occupy too much room. I want to move those, the ones that I have here down where the gas tank goes and then the rest underneath the floor, right? Now by replacing those with Tesla modules, not only do I lose about 100 pounds worth of battery, but I actually gain an extra four kilowatt hours, which translates about 10 to 20 miles. Plus I would get to distribute the weight a lot better right now. There's 2,000 pounds in the back axle and 1,000 pounds in the front. So there's tons of weight in the back and not a lot in the back in the front. So it kind of rides funny, right? So there's a lot of pros. And it turns out there's not a whole lot of engineering. Let me show you what I would have to do. All right, so basically all you would have to do is move these bars around, shuffle them around, move back, and then this one moving forward, get rid of this one, create a pocket, and then all the modules would go in here. And you would have to fabricate, actually you wouldn't have to, but I would fabricate this plate here. And I would put this on both sides, on the front side and then the back side of the batteries. And the batteries would actually hold on to that. So they would be hanging off of that plate. And then that would be resting on top of the two frame rail. So that's how I would stuff uh, 30 kilowatt hours of battery into the floor of the Samba. But before I can do that, I'd have to get rid of my lithium iron phosphate. Anybody want to buy 70, 90 amp hour cal bricks? 
lithium iron phosphate lightly use let me know in the comments <laughs>
I think it'll actually work out pretty good. And the wiring system is really simple. It's just, you just have to like crimp a bunch of spades and just redistribute through the thing. And then that's pretty cool. I like it. Here's the ironic thing. I won't be able to use my DIY uh, heater because it's encased in plastic or smelling funky. This one is also encased in plastic. <laughs> But apparently it's plastic that can withstand the heat, so I just gotta, you gotta use the right plastic. Now it's time to pack up. Let's get out of here. Never a large criminal who must be put away. Another innocent victim. I don't know. I don't mean 